Hi, we're here today in beautiful Long Beach, California with designer Jared Flood. Hi, Jared. Thank you for joining me hey, today. Thanks so much for having me. Oh, I'm you're welcome. Glad to be here. Wonderful. Uh, every designer has their own unique take on knitwear design, and uh, I'd like to hear some of, of your techniques. All right. Well, um, I think I approach, I approach knitwear from a very technical standpoint. Uh, um, I guess when I'm starting a design, it usually starts with either the yarn or a technique that I'm really interested in exploring or uh, tweaking a little bit. Mm -hmm. I'm really inspired by um, traditional hand knitting technique and uh, the history of hand knitting and things like that. And I like to sort of take those inspirations and put them into something that is wearable for today's, you know, today's wardrobe. <laughs> Uh, I, this is really catching my eye over here. Oh, this thanks. beautiful color work, uh, I just, it's just so beautiful. This is one of the techniques that you've developed? Uh, not, no, not necessarily. These are just um, Fair Isle hats. These are mm -hmm. all done stranded knitting, two color stranded knitting. This is four color here. Um, and you know, one, one design maybe uh, can be knit a couple different ways. It's the same motif, same pattern, same yarn. Uh, and we have a beanie version in four colors and a mm -hmm. tam version in two. And uh, that just kind of comes out of wanting to explore something until you feel like you're done with it. And sometimes you get multiple versions. Now the motif is your own design though, uh, right? Yeah, up on top, okay. yep. Mm -hmm. and how, do you, how do you design an, an original motif? Um, I like to just sort of uh, sit down and, and start free-forming it, whether that's uh, on paper or on the computer. I use a computer a lot when I'm doing uh, charting, so mm -hmm. fair owl work or uh, just making charts for textured patterns and things like that. Okay, mm -hmm. wow, it's absolutely beautiful. Thank you. Now, do you use, uh, you're welcome, do you use that same sort of technique when you're designing garments as well? Um, at a certain stage, yeah, we'll move over to the computer, but I, mm -hmm. uh, to start with, with larger garments or lace, things like that, um, m more hand sketching, things to get ideas, or I take a lot of inspiration from photography and things like that, so I'm kind of collecting images, collecting sources, and then once there's something, uh, something there with the yarn that I think is right, then we'll kind of move more to the technical side. I hear you also have a new technique to share with me today. Uh, yeah, I'm going to show you. This is a free uh, hat pattern that's on the website mm -hmm. that is just a simple beanie pattern and it uses worsted weight yarns. It's a great pattern for, for you know, scraps. You can get two or three out of just two balls. Oh, wow, that's uh, great. Which is nice. But we uh, are using a worsted weight solid yarn here and a worsted weight self-striping yarn here, which um, as you can see, when you're striping with a self-striping yarn, mm -hmm. you get a little bit of, uh, the yarn works for you a little bit because it looks like you're using more than just Right, it looks a lot more complicated. One color. So this is um, just a regular striped hat, but on top there's um, a, a four, four points of double decrease and okay. kind of turns those rings of stripe into squares on wow, top. Wow, that's a beautiful design element as well. Based on how that, so these double decreases are just combinations of knit two togethers and slip slip knits, which mm -hmm. are right leaning and left leaning decreases. Mm -hmm. And I um, just wanted to quickly show you today a better way of doing a left leaning decrease because a lot of times with this uh, standard traditional slip slip knit you get a little bit of looseness versus the right. really clean lines of a knit two together. So now, you use this also on other garments, not yeah, just on mm -hmm. the hats, in right? General, okay. There's a lot of solutions for making a cleaner uh, left leaning decrease mm -hmm. and some of them are more involved than other. I'm going to show you one that's really simple to just substitute for what you may already do. Great, thank okay. you. I'm so excited to so, see it. So uh, the first step is the same as you would normally do. You okay. always slip the first stitch as if to knit. Right. Now the second step is uh, a little bit different. Instead of slipping the second as if to knit, like right. you would normally do in a traditional slip slip knit, you're going to go into the uh, stitch as if to purl, like you're going to slip it as if to purl. Okay. Now you don't even need to slip this needle off slip the stitch off of the left hand needle because you're going to finish this off by knitting both of these stitches together through the back loop. Oh, okay. So when you go into the second stitch as if to purl, you just swing it around, you're already in, bring the yarn around, and you just did it. And that first stitch is going to lay a little bit flatter if you do that simple wow. modification. That is a great technique for a decrease. Mm -hmm. I love how smooth and finished that looks. Good. That's, that's wonderful. Uh, Jared, thank you so much. It's been a pleasure having you here today. Thanks. Knitting Daily. Make time for yarn every day. Visit KnittingDailyTV.com for free access to all of the project instructions, ideas, tips, and techniques from this season of Knitting Daily. This is Show 504. Take your knitting to the next level. 
Visit KnittingDailyTV.com for your free e-booklet of 30 knitting techniques for beginner knitting and beyond from the designers featured on Knitting Daily TV. If you enjoyed today's show and want more tips, tricks, and great guest appearances, a DVD set of Knitting Daily TV Series 500 is now available on KnittingDailyTV.com. Enjoy your favorite shows from this season, plus three bonus lessons from host Uni Jang. Each DVD set is $39.99 plus shipping and handling.